Hi, I'm Simon from Red Ferret, and before we start this video, I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on the latest, greatest, most awesome content on this page of YouTube. Let's get cracking with the video. So in front of me, I have a device which measures your air quality wherever you put it. It's called the Air Things Wave Plus. I've already reviewed the Air Things Wave, and now I think it's about one or two years ago I've reviewed the Wave. This is the Wave Plus, so it's a new version. It also has a radon detection and a radon that's not good, so it's good that this has radon detection. Besides radon, you have TVOC, CO2, humidity, temperature and pressure detection as well. This is actually used to increase your health, of course. You can't see the bad gases in your room or everywhere else and then suddenly you die, which is not that good. So uh, this small thing make sure you know if there are bad gases in your room or somewhere else so you wave it it's red oh now it's blue it's connecting to to bluetooth but um it's red so uh yeah that's not good i know i know it's not good um and that makes sure i always open my window whenever i see that it's red so i've opened my window right now um to get more fresh air in this room because i know that this room can be uh, a bit bad in air quality, especially CO2. So besides the wave function, you of course get your dashboard on an application you can install on your smartphone, which is great. You get the radon detection, which is the most important one. They advertise, it's an invisible odorless radioactive gas that comes from the ground and fluctuates daily. Radon is the leading cause of lung cancer among non-smokers, killing six times more than house fires and carbon monoxide combined. And this one over here, carbon dioxide, CO2, is very important for me but I, because I always get a very bad level of the CO2. An invisible gas which indoors is most commonly produced by the air we exhale. When CO2 levels rise, it can cause headache, restlessness and drowsiness as well as decreased, de decreased cognitive abilities such as decision making. And I probably know why the CO2 levels always rise in my room. That's because I close my doors whenever I sleep because I don't want to hear the sound and all that other light coming in. And then you breathe, of course, when sleeping and then all the CO2, so CO2 comes in and that's not that good, of course. Right, so it's time to check this device out, of course. There are two main ways to check it out. You have the AirThings app over here and you also have the dashboard.airthings.com which is of course via your computer or of course also via your smartphone where you can almost see the same things as you can see on the app so uh, let's see what we can see on this app so as you can see my device is in my bedroom which you can select from the get-go it's very easy to connect you just uh, put in the battery and then it will start syncing and it's it's, it's fairly easy uh, to get everything up and running so as you can see it's up to date and my air quality is poor why is that? That's because um, for one, the humidity is on 71%, which is too high. But I don't really think I can change that, but there are some, some things you can check out in the um, app itself. I'm going to show that a bit later. The TVOC is 106. The temperature is 15 degrees. I can, of course, increase temperature when I put something like a uh, warmth installment over here uh, that that's not really possible in my room but hey uh, not a big issue co2 518 uh, pressure is 9 988 and radon is 28 so if i click on the red i can see everything more in detail so i can see 48 hours week month or year um, this has been in my room for about two weeks now you by the way you need seven days in order to uh, get everything calculated so don't think that you can uh, get this out of the box put it there and it will work no it needs seven days to measure everything and then get the right uh, numbers for you. So uh, as you can see here, last 48 hours, I have 26 BQ cubic meters, I think that is, I'm not really sure. Radon average, uh, and then you can just click what is radon, and then you go to airthings.com. Radon is an invisible gas formed in earth crust, as you can see, and then you have a video. Why is radon important? Where does radon come from? Over here you can see how you can um, better the radon in your room. Uh, so for example, it's, if it's between 0 and 48, uh, right for me, for example, uh, it's between, let's go back, uh, 26 it's right now. So um, it's not even 48, so that's good. Uh, so it's, if it's between 0 and 48, no action needed, or 49.99. Experiment with ventilation and sealing cracks to reduce levels. So cracks in the floor, cracks 
in the walls, for example, and ventilate your room. That's always the most important part of uh, getting good air quality, ventilating your room. And then uh, keep measuring contact professional radon mitigator if needed. If you just swipe to the right, you have your PBB TVOC. What are TVOCs? That might be important for me because I really don't know. Total VOCs stand for total vo volatile organic compounds, which are the total amount of any emitted gases coming from toxins and chemicals. So as you can see, um, these have very bad effects on your body. And they come from cre cleaning products, uh, other chemical products, or, or even cooking products, which might be very interesting. And again, ventilating is the most important thing to uh, avoid a high level of TVOC. And as you can see over here, I've, I've had some high levels of uh, TVOC the last 48 hours. Um, can I see what time that was? No, I, I can't see the time, but as you can see, I have... Uh, Two peaks over here, which is not that good, of course. Right, so again, very important for me to ventilate my room. Next one is the CO2 average. And as you can see, I've noticed that uh, when I go to bed or when I'm like at the peak of sleeping, my CO2 level is very high, as you can see. So uh, over here, it's on two, 2200 over here on the highest peak. And that's always uh, when it's night. So uh, that means that um, my room is not ventilated enough when I go to bed. Not a really big issue for me. So when I wake up, I ventilate my room, as you can see, and then it goes down, down very fast. So uh, that's good. Again, you can click it. What is CO2 um, is again the uh, levels concentrated indoors with less ventilation. And again, uh, the ventilation in my room is uh, very bad when I go to sleep. When I'm not in my room, every door is open, the window is open, so it can ventilate. But when I'm in my room and when I want to sleep, everything is closed because I need a dark room to sleep. That's why. They do say over here, fresh air will help you get a better night's sleep. Keep your door or window open at night while you sleep. That stale air feeling you get in a room that was recently slept in comes from increased levels of CO2. Okay, so maybe that's a good lesson for me. I'm going to sleep with my window open a little bit this night. Maybe I'm going to wake up very early because whenever I see light coming from somewhere, I wake up. Or I hear dogs barking, I wake up and I hate that. So that's why I close everything. But okay, just for this time, I will open my window at night uh, to have some ventilation. And maybe I'll sleep better than, than usual. Who knows? Humidity is 70%, which is okay. Temperature right now is, uh, or right now is around 15 degrees, as you can see, uh, and the average is 13 degrees. It's pretty cold at this time of the year. Uh, it went to um, 19 over here, which was way better than right now. Uh, so yeah, and the coldest one was, let's see, coldest one was 13 degrees, but it will get colder in the future, I guess. And then you also have the pressure average as well. In the settings, you can change some stuff, like for example, uh, change your location, which can be important uh, to measure the radon detection. I will show that later. Change room, device info, update device as well. Radon alarm, uh, which is loading right now because it's connecting via Bluetooth, I think. And trigger ring light, that's just showing the light on uh, this device over here. As you could have seen right now, it was white. You also have the option to get a uh, radon alarm, which would mean that if your radon is very high, uh, you'll get an alarm. And as you can see right now, my air quality is average. Average, so it has changed, which is great. And then this thing is also pretty cool. Uh, that's uh, online, so on the computer or also on a smartphone, dashboard.airthing.wave. If you log in with the same account, you can see uh, the air quality in um, the location you're in right now. So not your room, but like the general air quality in the location. And it's 77 AQI. I don't really know what that means, but you can read it. You can now compare your indoor environment with the air outside with our air quality index or AQI. And uh, it's from 0 to 100 or poor to excellent. So it's 77, which is, I think, very good. Um, so 100 is excellent and it's 77, so uh, that's pretty good. You can also, uh, I think, scroll inside the map if that is possible. Uh, it doesn't really work. Oh, maybe now. So you can zoom out on the map to see where there are green, yellow or red parts in order to see the air quality. You also see the pollutants. 
the NO2, the Q3, which is dominant. The dominant pollutant is the pollutant that has the greatest effect on the AQI right now, considering its concentration on your health. And then you get all the info which you can read, of course. And then on the dashboard, you can see a roundup of everything you have in your app as well. So that's great. All right, so is this Air Things Wave something for you? I think it's something for everyone. I think air quality is important for everyone if you want to have good health and good living. Um, it's not that cheap, but it's for your health. So don't save money on good health. That's what I'm trying to say. It's very important to see if there are bad things in your air quality because you can't see the air. The air is everywhere. Without air, we wouldn't be alive. But with bad air, you can die. And that's the message I want to bring. So yeah, is this important? Uh, yeah, it's it's important for everyone. Uh, maybe some people will think it, it, it doesn't work like advertised, but it really does because you really can see the effects if you open your window, if you close your window. So it really does work and it's it's, it's easy to install. You can just even uh, put it mounted on the wall, mount it on the ceiling and you get all the information on your app. On your app. So uh, you, you really don't have to do a lot with this in order to make it work. So uh, it's really easy to install and it's very important and valid information. There's also an Air Things Mini, which I'm maybe going to review in the future, which will be a bit cheaper, I think, and a bit smaller as well. But uh, this is the Air Things Wave Plus, very important to get your air quality checked in your room or anywhere else to get good health, of course. If you have any questions regarding this device, let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very, very glad to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos in the future. And I hope I'll see you, yes, you who's watching this behind your phone or behind the computer screen, I don't know, in our next video. Bye-bye.